Hi guys, happy Thursday. So for the next two days, Thursday and Friday, we are going to be reading a story called Harold and the Purple Crayon. It is a story about a boy named Harold, of course. And it is written by Crockett Johnson. So let's see what, what this story is about. We know it's about Harold. We know he has a purple crayon. So let's see what's going on with him and that crayon. Okay. So one evening, after thinking it over for some time, Harold decided to go for a walk in the moonlight. Do you guys see a moon there? Me either. There wasn't any moon and Harold needed a moon for a walk in the moonlight. And he needed something to walk on He made a long straight path so he wouldn't get lost. Long straight path. And he set off on his walk, taking his big purple crayon with him. Let's see what he finds. But he didn't seem to be getting anywhere on the long straight path. So he left the path for a shortcut across a field and the moon went with him. The shortcut led right to where Harold thought a forest ought to be. Hmm. And he didn't want to get lost in the forest or in the woods. So he made a very small forest with just one tree in it. That's a good idea, right? What do you think he's gonna draw next? Let's see. It turned out to be an apple tree. Huh? The apples would be very tasty, Harold thought when they got red. Mm-hmm, I think so too. So, he put a frightening dragon under the tree to guard the apples. <gasps> Look at that frightening dragon, it was, it was terribly frightening. A terribly frightening dragon. What do you think Carol's gonna do next? Let's see what that dragon's gonna do. Oh, it was so frightening. It even frightened Harold. And he backed away. His hand holding the purple crayon shook. What do you think is going to happen next? What do you think his purple crayon is going to draw next? Look, it's shaking, shaking, shaking. He's so frightened. Let's see, let's see. Suddenly, he realized what was happening. But, why, but by then, Harold was over his head in the ocean. Oh, no. But he came up thinking fast. And what do you think he came up with? You're right. And in no time, he was climbing aboard a trim little boat. And he quickly set sail. And the moon sailed right along with him. Okay, guys. So I'm going to pause here for today. I am going to let you draw a picture about where you think Harold is sailing to next. Send me a picture, post it in the comments, whatever you want. Or show whoever's at home. Draw a picture with your purple crayon or any crayon if you have one. Um, so yeah, and then tomorrow, we'll actually find out where Harold will be sailing to. Bye guys, love you.